Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of April reading. So the 23rd through the 30th, this may resonate in May. This is for the sign of Pisces. This is um, Saturn retrograde from April 17th to oh September 3rd. So Saturn retrograde is about karma, good karma and bad karma. So if you've done bad things, if you haven't done things with integrity, if whatever, payback's a bitch. If you've done good things, you can expect rewards. Just a heads up, it's going on till September 3rd. It's a big time of karma. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, of course. Lack of stability, lack of security. There's secrets here. Perhaps there's going to be some sort of truth revealed regarding this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Hmm. There's fear here. Insecurity. Loss of faith, perhaps, in this person. Or this person has lost faith in you. There's confusion. Okay, there could be a new exciting opportunity, a new beginning even. You need to really stay focused. Stay focused, Pisces. There, yeah, let me get some more cards. There's a lack of victory and success. That's what this is, there's a lack of victory and sex. success. Maybe somebody acted impulsively. And now there's a lack of victory and success. Hmm. Juggling. Chaos. It's time to take the next step. Face your fears. There could be an exciting new opportunity, but you could be feeling, fearing. You may not have the confidence or the courage. Hmm. To go back? Oh my goodness. What the heck is this? Oh my goodness. Hmm. There's like a dissatisfaction here. Thinking about going back? Really scared? There's dissatisfaction. There's discouragement. There's like... Oh, justice. This is the integrity. It's about doing the right thing to bring balance and harmony back to your life. It's time to take the next step to bring balance and harmony back to your life. It's time to act with integrity. <laughs> There's karma here. <laughs> this is karma. This is the card of karma. Interesting. It's time to make a decision, a final decision, and it's right under you, Pisces. So it's time for you to accept the reality. There's some kind of reality check here needed. You need to, need to do the right thing. Take the next step. Oh. But you may be feeling withdrawn. You may be feeling like you can't communicate. That I don't dare to communicate. Oh, but there's a lack of emotional contentment. Where you're at now, you're really dissatisfied. Unwilling to let go of the past. Unwilling to shed the past. There's a lack of success. Lack of success. Lack of success. Because somebody has to do the right thing and take the next step. Take that next step. It could be regards in regards to an earth sign. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra and Gemini here. We also have uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Yeah, there is a lack of wish fulfillment. Oh. Hmm. So things are halted. It's at a complete standstill because somebody's afraid to take action. You need to get on your horse and get moving. Get moving. Have no fear. If you want victory and success, you have to take action. I'd get moving real fast if I was you. Um... This right here, there's lack of emotional contentment. This is emotionally unavailable. 
you need to communicate. This is about communication. If you're look, if you, there's, I would, if you need to communicate, you should do it. Time is of the essence, and that is no joke. I feel like you're emotionally withdrawn at this time. You are. You're probably totally in retreat mode. Or somebody is. Things are completely stalled, halted, stopped. There's no forward movement, perhaps because you're emotionally unavailable. You're feeling a lack of wish fulfillment. There's a lot of dissatisfaction here because, you know, I feel like you know what the reality is, but you're letting your own fears hold you back. Taurus. Is it fear of commitment? Are you afraid of commitment? <laughs> it's time to believe in yourself. You have to have faith. Restore your faith in love. Restore your faith in commitment. Are you listening to your inner guide? Because your inner guide's been talking to you, Pisces. Are you ignoring it? Are you ignoring your true feelings? Are you ignoring how your heart really feels? Are you being stubborn? Are you being stubborn? You're being called to get moving. Perhaps you need to communicate and you need to do it immediately. Very quickly. Because there's no victory and success if you don't. If you don't get moving and get on your horse and get going, then you're going to lose out. And please, we need to change this. Yeah, there's a lack of happiness. There's a lack of a happy relationship here. There's relationship problems. And somebody may be feeling dead inside, empty. You're being called to live in the now. Don't bring the past with you. That's over with. It's, there's you have an opportunity for a new beginning here. Maybe you went through a transformation, and like I, I see that somebody has been working on shedding their own ways. You know, you get what you deserve. Are you going for what you deserve? This is about give and take. It's about generosity as well. Give yourself to somebody. To have a happy relationship, you need to give. You need to be able to receive as well. You need to make a clear decision. It's time to make that decision. And I think that, you know, like I said, time is of the essence. This is it is time to make the decision. The time is right now. And like I said, live in the now. You have an opportunity for a new beginning. Rebirth. Renewal. That would make you feel alive again after this time of emptiness and dissatisfaction. But you have to make the clear decision. You have to make the clear choice. And you need to let go of illusion and confusion, confusion and take some serious fast action. And I mean fast. You have a new opportunity. Okay? There's no need to concentrate on what happened in the past. You have a new opportunity. For the two of cups. For love. But you need to free yourself from the past again. It's a time of liberation. It's a time of freedom. Let, let, let the past be gone. Let it end. Okay? The truth is out. Okay? The truth is out or it's about to come out. Somebody's about to get caught. The truth is already out. It's out. Everybody knows what the truth is here in this situation. There's no sense denying it. There's an opportunity for a new beginning in which you are fighting. But maybe you're afraid to get caught in a commitment. Maybe you're afraid to get caught who knows doing what. I don't even, doesn't, I don't know. But there's an opportunity for a new beginning here, and that's the truth. For a start over. For a fresh start. You've learned a big lesson. You have. A big lesson has been learned and you can't you can't control fate and, and this is what's going on here. I think that some of you are trying to control the outcome and if it's if something is meant to be, it's meant to be. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. You can't control that. If it's destined, if it's fated, it is. That's that's universally driven. These are both universally driven cards. You can't 
fight what is meant to be. You can't fight a soul contract. You can't fight destiny. And that's what's trying to be, that's what's happening here. Somebody is being stubborn, not wanting to move forward, but they can't let something go <laughs> because it's, it is what it is, right? You know, you're being called to fight for, fight for it. Fight for it. Fight for this new beginning. You've learned something big. You have a new opportunity. Don't let the past hold you back. It's time to make some compromises. It's time to communicate. Stop being stubborn and hot-headed and hard-headed. Don't bring the past with you. It's time to let it go. Release. Stop holding on to the past battles. You've learned something big. You have. You've changed. You've evolved. <laughs> oh my goodness there could be two other men in the picture Libra, Gemini, Aquarius Aries, Leo, Sagittarius there could be two other men in the picture you know whatever's going on here somebody is being ruthless Somebody is being self-centered and hard-headed and controlling and manipulative. Look at them all. They're all reversed. There's a lot of control here. Trying to control a situation. Trying to control destiny with that wheel. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't control the, the plan. Mm-mm. You can't. You can't control the universal plan. This is unfairness. Somebody has been treated really unfairly here. Abusive. This one is greedy, ruthless, and unreasonable and conceited. This one is controlling, withdrawn, cold, and detached. It's not getting you anywhere. If you feel like anybody that comes into your life is only going to harm you, then you're doomed. Oh my goodness. You have an opportunity to restore something. To restore it. This is restoration. And find love. This is a reconciliation or a reunion or new love. This is love. You have an opportunity to restore love. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If you would find your backbone, find the backbone to do the right thing. This is a card of integrity. You have to take charge. You have to find the moral backbone bone to rise and take charge to find or reunite love. It is an opportunity to restore what's been lost. This is restoration. But you could be in denial. The worst is over. Let go of the past depression, the past anxiety, the past hurts, the past battles. And let love happen. Don't fight it. You're clinging to the past. There's somebody from your past that is you can't let go of. And it's because it's destiny. <laughs> Damn it. So, you know, I don't even I don't even want to keep going because it is what it is and I feel like You're being called to get moving. You are. Quickly. Very, very quickly.
but there's a lack of confidence. There's a lack of confidence and a lack of self-esteem and a lack of, of courage. It's time to communicate quickly because this is fast communication wherever it is that eight of right here and it was like this okay it was like this this is fast communication this is get moving and that's why I said move quickly move quickly you you better get moving because there's other people in the picture could be three other people vying for your love the love of your life. I feel like you guys are, are missing out on something that could be that is could lead to a, a solid commitment. But there's a lot of stubbornness here, a lot of stubbornness in trying to control. But I think that you guys have evolved I and mean, you learned a big lesson and the past is the past and the past is the past. You know what I'm saying? Pisces. What do you have for Pisces? Express your feelings. That just came to my mind. Whatever. Whatever. Oh. Ooh. Son of a gun. Wow. Look at her. Look at her hugging. Hugging him. Forgiveness. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful. And it has the capacity to heal and transform. Oh my God. That three of swords is forgiveness as well. Listen, that three of swords reversed. It's time to forgive yourself and the other person. Okay? It is. You can't fight love. Let go of the resentment. It's killing you. Remember at the beginning we talked about karma and integrity. Karma is about integrity. If you don't do the right thing, you're going to continue to suffer. Eventually, it's going to be too late. Especially if there's three other people in the mix. Can you forgive? Or are you too cold and detached for that? Express yourself. Get moving. Pronto. Talk to you later.